Hey guys, what's up? Noah from WSK. December. No snow. Anyway, so today we're going to do a video on. So, in the Altoids tin, or actually in the sheets, I should say, I have a sharpening stone by Norton and a tin. This is a, a mini survival kit that I have. In here, it is uh, lined with duct tape, so that makes it a little bit waterproof. Um, in here, this piece of duct tape, I don't think there is anything in it. I did have stuff like a needle, but I don't think that's in here now. <coughs> but what is in here is a magnesium fire starter. Uh, this is the, oh, I want to say this is the, the Harbor Freight one. So, oh, 12 o'clock, so it's okay. I have a little bit of paracord. I have a striker from the uh, from the Swede fire steel, it, but I kind of rounded off the edges so it fit in here better. <coughs> I have the priorities of survival uh, pocket guide. This came with my uh, uh, Bear Grylls fire starter, which I don't have with me anymore. So unfortunately, I can't do a review on that. But if I ever get my hands on another one, and they're pretty cheap, they're like twelve bucks, but twelve fourteen. I'll do a review on that, but this is the guide. It shows you and tells you uh, very detailed, not really. It, it, it's uh, detailed in some spots, but it misses quite a bit of things. But it tells you about uh, different ways of making fire, uh, signaling, shelter. Um, on this side, there is centimeters. Um, on this side, there is inches. It also shows some uh, simple knots, um, some snares, ways of collecting water, and uh, navigation, which I think is pretty cool. So it, it's something to read when you're bored and lost at the same time, but, <clears throat> you know, I think it's pretty interesting, so I just threw that in here. Um, I also have the striker for this magnesium block. Uh, this can, this also has some saw teeth, so if you want to do maybe a little bit notching, you could. I'm not, I'm not sure how well this would do it. It's a hacksaw blade, but you can do something with it, I'm sure. I also have a razor blade that's still in the package. Oh, here you go. This is uh, the paper clips and the bobby pins that I had in here. They're just wrapped up with duct tape. I also have a sheet of aluminum foil. I'm not sure how much. I'd say it's probably about uh, two feet by two feet. Holy crap. Oh, there's the needle. Right there's the needle. Here's a little fire starter I got off Amazon. And the last really hard to get out. It's a, uh, a sheet of duct tape. This is Gorilla Tape, and it's, uh, it's there's probably about a few feet in here. So, really helpful. This is, I wouldn't say it's a uh, miniature survival kit, but it'll definitely work for what you're doing if you're just uh, lost or you need, someone's going to hit you the next day. This will help you because you'll be able to collect and boil water, or you can use this as well. You can also use this for signaling. I'm not sure if I can shine it in the light getting it but you can use that for signaling um, you have some you have a few ways of making fire you have a, a cutting tool as well as this cutting tool and I have a sharpening stone to keep this cutting tool going so I, I think this is a pretty good kit the only thing I don't have is anything in making snares I would use something other than paracord it is possible paracord but it's a lot more difficult so uh, yeah that's the <coughs> Oh, if you're curious what it looks like, it's that. That's the stone. It works. So, that's the kit. Um, I want to tell you guys if the, the video looks a little different because I got a new phone. Um, me and Bree got new phones. It's the uh, Galaxy 4 Prime or something like that. I'll put it right here. So. We got new phones now, we don't have to use my sister's camera, so thank you, I'll give that camera back to you. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like, um, all that other kind of good stuff, check out my social medias, I'll see you guys in the next one.